Hi everyone, my name is Jan Sosa and I'm a doctor in osteopathy. Uh, I have been treating patients with uh, pelvic dysfunctions for more than 25 years and I will try to clarify uh, some few things about what is up and down in the in the pelvic floor. You can see here, this is a very special joint that is the only joint that is weight bearing with uh, a, a vertical X. So it means that it, it could easily uh, make some kind of shifts. Uh, and uh, to prevent this, we got some ligaments and we got some muscles that is trying to, to hold this joint together. If we take a look here of a female, then we have the pelvic floor. It's underneath the, uh, the lumbar spine here, and we can make it a little bit bigger here. Then we have the pelvic floor here. And if we remove the skin, you will see there's a lot of different muscles uh, that's trying to hold the SR joint stable um, against gravity when you are running or uh, walking, sitting on a chair or your weight. Uh, this vertical joint have to be stable in uh, all different positions, both when you are flexing or extending or side bending rotation then you have to, to hold the stable. And the muscle here is in, in, in many different layers uh, that is all cooperating to, to hold the SR joint stable. So when we uh, go a little bit up, you will see here we have uh, ligaments that is uh, trying to hold uh, uh, as well. This is a passive uh, stability that we have both in front here and also in the back of the SR joint. Uh, and when we remove this, you will see then we have the, the SR joint in here that is holding this. And when you have a, a dysfunction here, uh, it's, you cannot see it always on MRI or in uh, X-rays or CT scanning because uh, you have to examine this under movement. So it's the same to say, uh, if you take a picture of a, a of a car, for example, then uh, nobody will say that if uh, the car is uh, possible to start or uh, or the uh, or, or the motor is running, or if you if you take a picture of a door, can you open the door or, or is it closed? This this you must actually examine under movement. So when we examine this, we will see that. Um, if it's moved correctly and if it's not moved correctly this means that you have some kind of SI dysfunction and there exist more than 24 different uh, dysfunctions and depending on which dysfunction you have you will have different uh, symptoms uh, both uh, in one of the legs or in both of them or uh, more local or problem uh, in your pelvic floor or uh, in your spine and actually it could goes up to your to your neck or into your uh, head or in the intracranial so so to speak so um, every patient have uh, different symptoms and um, if it's if it's uh, if you have a dysfunction then in my opinion it will not be correct to uh, to make uh, exercise or rehabilitation for this for the muscles because the most of the therapists are, are, are thinking okay what can we do we can uh, we, we must uh, make the SR joints more stable because the patient is not uh, strong enough to hold their own SR joint so they start to to make a rehabilitation of this but uh, in my point of view, uh, uh, my meaning is that this will be uh, not correct because uh, if you are uh, locked or if you are um, the SR joint is, is in, in the dysfunction position, then you will actually make a, the exercises um, unequal. So you, you uh, will exercise the strong muscles stronger and the weaker more weak. So uh, I cannot recommend that you will make exercise before uh, the SR joint is running well again and after then then it's very important to to stabilize uh, the muscles around the SR joint 
Otherwise, um, then you also have the ligaments underneath, and this ligaments must be uh, the ligaments that's here, both in front and in the back, must be uh, as flexible as possible. And for that, you can uh, you can do some kind of flexibility exercises, and uh, yoga will be very good uh, to to uh, to make the, the the ligament is more elastic. Uh, uh, so that is what you can do by yourself. And then there's the last thing, because uh, the SR joint here must stabilize the against the gravity. So if your weight is too high, I would say if your BMI is over 30, then uh, you actually have to uh, get some also some kind of weight loss because if you go into a therapist and they're trying to regulate the SI joint, uh, this will not help if the patient's uh, uh, what do you call force is is uh, too high because of the body weight is too 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 high as well. So um, weight loss will also be a very important thing to 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 think about when you have some kind of uh, pelvic or SI dysfunctions. Thank you.